Good morning students. So today we are going to start with the topic cell range. As you can see cell range it is a group of contiguous cells which forms the shape of a rectangle. Suppose if I put my cursor on a particular cell and I select it means pressing the left button of the mouse and dragging in down right or it can be left it can be upward or downward means I am selecting a range it is basically giving a kind of shape of rectangle the same thing can be achieved with the help of shift and then pressing arrow keys up down left and right and the third thing is third way is by pressing F8 key F8 function key and then after pressing F8 function key we need to again we need to again do up and down and then left and right and again F8 to end the selection so this is achieved with the help of F8, Shift and Mouse. Three ways are there for selecting a range. In the range, there are certain cells. They are selected to perform some function, some kind of calculation. For example, I have this sheet 1 in which I have added two months. And if I select these two and if I drag them down, I'll be able to get other months as well using autofill feature but yes of course it is representing a kind of range and then some values I am giving here and suppose I want to add all of them so we need to select them so this is selection of range but how can we use it we need to write a function is equal sum bracket begin and then we need to select the range and then bracket close and press enter so this way i'll be able to get the addition of all these values if i do select all of them you can see that in status bar as well the sum is displayed as 14000 and here i have used it together so again i'm getting it the answer and suppose if i don't do it this way the other way would be to select the range, go to formulas and there we have defined name. So we can give a name here. Suppose it has taken number of units sold and we can write some comments also if we want and then do OK. So you can see that this name is being displayed over here in the name box number of units sold. Right. So now what I can do is is equal sum bracket begin and then I can select the range or I can write that name as well and what was the name number of units sold you can see it is being shown here I can directly write the name also sum of number of units sold and then I press enter button I'll get the answer so this way what we have discussed now what is range one thing Second thing we have discussed about the different ways to select a range with the help of mouse, with the help of shift key, with the help of F8. Third thing we have discussed is about naming a range. Ki how we are able to give the name to a range that is with the help of define name. And then we have used that name to find the sum. As you can see, sum of number of units sold. So that's all about this uh, particular topic. In the next topic, we will continue with the cell differences and its type. Thank you.